Okay, guys, good way to wrap up the Christmas. Last car on the dyno, we'll custom the car, Parrot 2300. Um, while we particularly filmed this car, we fit Pro Charger, we fit Parrot, we fit everything basically. Um, what I want to show you is that a lot of people think that big cams and medium cams can't work with Parrots. Traditionally, they aren't as good. This cam here, either the ST or the TM in our range, works awesome. Even with the 2300, 26 even better. What it has got, coming close, it's got our CNC heads on this car. And you'll see it on the other side of the logos. Sorry for the Christmas cheers in the back. Someone didn't turn the radio down for us. But So what we're trying to show you is that a good set of CNC heads are available here in stock camshaft so you might have previously had a car that's already done you don't have to change that up we can bolt on a Arab, we can bolt on a pro charger and you're going to make some serious amount of grunt now this is a good package you can come in and around about you know 1990 you can get 500 rear wheel kilowatts plus this is with an automatic transmission um, we have run out of fuel pump we've got a fuel pump booster on it um, we are, are out of injectors, so probably the next stage up is quite costly. But we're just showing you if you've already got the mods to your car and you've got a good head and cam deal, um, you can go to the next level. These are the numbers. What I'm going to do is show you a few overlays as well. So one of these standard would probably would have made about 260 rear wheel kilowatts with an LS3, maybe even 240. So now we're up to that 508 and near 700 marks. So the green run's a current run, and what I'm going to show you is this run here is a very healthy head and cam deal, mid-range cam, 338, that's huge power and you can see it over here. But what we can see is with the Harrop on board, we get the power everywhere, we get everything. So here's your torque curve, okay, bang, it, it's the same way, so you get everything. So basically it gets your gains, whatever you had on your camshaft. And all it does is add, you know, new 40, 50% uh, power. So that's what I'm trying to show you, trying to educate the public. We can make this work. The better the CNC head is, the better the camshaft, the more power you get. But, but don't be fooled and go, okay, which we log everything here. This is the boost we've got in. We've only got about seven or eight pounds. People go, I can't make that. What it is about is total airflow of the engine that makes the power. So if I had a small camshaft in it, or I had restrictive heads, what we would see is this boost figure go up to 14, 15 pounds, and people go, well, how could it make more boost? Boost is just a measurement of a restriction, and all we're gonna measure is the restriction of the camshaft and the heads. So what we're better doing is flowing it, you know, basically making it flow better, then there's less pressure on the engine. And what we get is this result. So guys, if you've got one of these cars, you've got head and cam or whatever you might need, whack a harrop on it, whack a pro charger on it, uh, put some type of force induction. But good Australian made kit, um, we're a harrop dealer, do recommend them. Customer's got this great black edition uh, Malu Ute. He's not storing it away, he's kept all the stock parts and he's gonna uh, have a good Christmas. So guys, Merry Christmas from GM Motorsport. Thanks to all our supporters and uh, hope to see you next year with uh, a bit uh, less COVID cases and more smiles on your dial. So to then, stay safe. Merry Christmas.